Chess amigos, welcome back to the grind. Let's start up, um, what's this? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Look, uh, I'm not one to cast judgment or anything, but <laughs> I don't know. I'll take 10. Oh, okay, enough of that. Uh, let's start a game and see what we can do. <laughs> Just don't know about those guys. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, not this again. You know, I really don't like this opening. But this is the third game in a row. Oh, this again. This again. I remember this. Yoink. Here's a knight. Nope. Not going to fall for any of this funny business today. I've learned my lesson, Chess581. I've I've been a victim to that too many times. Honestly, bro, you can have the pawn. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I guess I can kind of get get my queen out to d5, couldn't I? I think that's actually the move. As weird as that is, I'm just gonna develop the knight. So he has given me two pieces, two pawns for the price of one. I think I've kind of messed up his plan here. I think the next move is d2, d3 with the knight. Um, what am I gonna miss here? Boom defends, or like boom defends bishop d2. I don't know. I got two pawns for the price of one. Maybe this is some. Maybe this is some cheesy opening that I'm not ready for. Okay. So he's cre created three nice little pawn islands for himself, which I like. I can go I can go pin his knight. Okay. I'm gonna mess up just his pawn structure here. So now his pawn islands are very funky. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I could go for the really early castle. Uh, or I could continue on with, let's see, getting the knight out onto e4. Seems kind of weird. Um, knight d2. I like the idea of knight d2. Knight d2 seems nice. That'll probably be his next move. Maybe knight f6. I'm just going to go for the castle. I need to pressure this piece. Doesn't have a... Yeah, okay, knight f6. Yeah, he doesn't have a great way to run his bishop back, so I'd kind of rather get it off to the side of the board here. Um, okay, cool. I could also push to c4. That might be a little strange. I don't have a great way to protect c4 besides with d2 with the knight. I'm just going to develop the knight in pressure on b3. Okay. I'll just pressure. This pawn is pinned. Or no, it's not. Excuse me. Forgot his king's over here. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. Need to fix this. Okay, we back. I kind of like d2, or excuse me, d4 with the knight. Um, I just wonder which knight I should bring out there. Well, no, if I go d2 or d4, I don't know why I keep calling it d2. If I go d4, he just pushes a pawn and then I'm kind of forced to jump around. But then I, yeah, maybe I don't quite want to go. Maybe I don't quite want to do that. 
Yeah, just kidding on d4. He can just push a pawn and sort of harass that piece easily. Never mind. Um, I would normally like to go c4, but he just takes a pawn and then attacks the knight. So that's a bit useless. Could develop a rook. Just put the rook on the same file as his king. I can attack his queen, but I don't want my bishop ending up there. Um, probably just fall back, honestly, right? And then just try to trade off knights. I'll just fall back and offer to trade knights. He does have a bit of a nasty move if he goes queen c7. Uh, no, he can't sack the bishop. Just kidding. The knight's defending that. Defending h2. Never mind everything I just said. Don't really want to trade off. I can trade against his queen out. Hmm. I'd rather... Hmm. Do I want him to get his queen out here? Not really. Maybe I just attack his queen. Then I think he'll probably just go something like f6. Hmm. Trade and get the queen out. Let's think here. Maybe I just add another defender to this knight. Also kind of wins a pawn here. Uh, that's okay, actually, I feel. That is okay. This gives me the option to push c4. Which I do like. I don't want to block this in though. Maybe that was a bit of a blunder. I think I have to go back to b3. If I go to e2, he takes the knight and then I have to take with the pawn, which I don't want to do. So I believe b3 is sort of forced here. Okay, that's fine. Eyeing his pawn now. What's this? What's he aiming for here? Oh, I can't take the pawn anymore. Right, defended. Um, okay, that's fine. Just think probably. <clears throat> Maybe something like bishop d2. Just get the bishop on the same diagonal as his queen here. There's anything better here, really? Let's 
still need to be mindful of this bishop. Oh yeah, his bishop can come in. I should think about that. Uh, well, I can just plain win a pawn here. I can either attack this pawn and try to eye his queen. I think that's good. That'll connect these pawns, right? Let me think if there's any harm in doing this. Ah, I see. I see. Right. So h3 is a bit of a forced move. Yeah, I have to go h3. A bit silly to not notice that. I should have noticed that earlier. Um, okay, cool. I think I'll just go for this original idea that I had here. See, this pawn is not pinned on g2 anymore. So, I'll just go for winning a pawn. Kind of would like to just throw my rook on the same file. As his queen here. Hmm. Maybe I want to add another defender. Yeah, I probably want to add one more defender in case he takes with the pawn. No, but even this is just winning, right? Uh, I think rook e1 is just better here. Uh, so he's still looking for this check here. Um, could probably defend. Yeah, this one's a little bit weird because I have mate. Or excuse me, he has mate. He has mate and one, but also... Yeah, so he's pressuring b2 and h2. I wonder if there's any way that I can win this here. I mean, I suppose if he goes h2, I can always just scoot over and then get my king out, but I'd rather not do that. Maybe I'm just forced to lose a pawn here. Either bishop c3 or bishop f4. Those are kind of the ideas that I have here. Or maybe just push a pawn up. If he goes h2, I can always just scoot back. If he goes h1, I can go e2. And then I can try to run my king into this corner. Probably not ideal. There is always just g3 too. Yeah, but I don't want to lose this pawn. I think losing b2 is a bigger threat than his queen getting onto this square. I don't, really don't want to blunder this. Ideas. Hmm. Should have seen that coming.
Uh, I should have noticed that. It's a bit of a blunder, if I'm being honest. But he does block his... Um, he, he blocks b2. So maybe I can just pressure his queen somehow at this point. I don't think I can. I think d2 is forced. If he pushes d3, I'll probably just go... Uh, no, that's not a free piece. I'm going to offer the trade here and I his queen. This seems like a bigger threat. And I can get my knight somewhere. Maybe I just threaten his queen. I'm just going to go for the queen threat. I'll be forced to move his queen somewhere at least. My pieces are very tight at the moment, kind of lacking space. I wonder if I can like continue to pressure this somehow. I kind of have to move my knight at this point. Um, or I can just take the bishop. He'll probably be forced to take back here. I mean, I'm up a piece, so I might as well. I could always push up as well, too. Push the pawn. Pushing the pawn seems interesting. It's my pawn further up the board. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I like this pawn move. Also, I just opened up a diagonal. This is a bit of a double attack. Love me a good double attack. <laughs> yeah, so if I take the bishop here, it opens up... It opens up the file to attack the queen as well. And then I'm pretty sure I'll still have the rook red as well. And then if he takes my knight here, I can take back with the pawn and then I won't have the threat of the rook going down the A file. Let's see how this goes. Maybe he just finds a really sneaky move. If he takes the pawn with the bishop, I'm just going to take his bishop back with mine and I'll still be defended there. Honestly, may even just send the rook out. Uh, no, because I want to leave the rooks connected in case of some A-file openness. I'll go break. And some decisions to make. Cool. So I'm really feeling taking the rook. Here's why. If he takes my knight, I take his pawn. If 
takes the pawn, I can win back. So I have two defenders on this pawn. So also I could just move my knight here, get it out of get it out of harm's way. He'll be forced to move his queen, and then I can take. Um, I like my queen where it is, but I don't like the fact that this bishop is undefended. That's the only thing I don't like. But I kind of like winning a pawn and then pressuring his queen. Feels a bit safer. But I don't know. A free rook is a free rook, right? I mean, maybe he can't really even block me and I can just go back to f3. So. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Maybe it's a blunder. Maybe it's taking a piece that's not a threat, but I'm going to go for it. Seems like a good move. I'll go break again. No, my glass didn't shrink. It's two glasses. One is short, one is tall. <laughs> How did he do it? I don't know. Okay, let's focus. Let's save the jokes for later. It wasn't even that funny. It wasn't even a very good joke. What he could try to do, like, he could have some idea where, okay, so I kind of saw that coming. I'm almost tempted to just push up here. Um, If I take, he just gets his queen uh, onto, I don't know if it's quite infiltrated, but it'll be pretty close. So I kind of would like to just trade off, honestly, so his queen can't get onto b3. I mean, shoot, even if he takes it, I can just take with the rook, or even just take with the queen, and then just offer him the trade and get the rook up the board. Hmm. Maybe I take his pawn instead. Hmm. No, I don't quite want to give him like a pass pawn yet. I'm just going to... I could always push this pawn too. No, I can't. I'm just going to push up. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I see what he did. Yeah, he was just trying to discover an attack there. And he's not really attacking anything, so it's a bit of a awkward position for him. I'm just going to go back to our lovely F3 here. Um, okay, this is very good for me, I believe. Any reason not to do this? Am I, like, missing something here? This opens up the attack. I'll be forced to... I mean, he can just take this pawn, but... Even then, it just seems really good for me. If he takes with the queen, I have a check, and then I can win a pawn. I don't know, this seems too good. I actually went for it, huh? Okay, let's do a sanity check here before we do anything else. I mean, there's no reason not to take the queen here. I don't think I'm missing anything.
Okay, nice. Yeah, that was a fun game. That was a fun game. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. This is the first day where I've gotten... Let's see, I went to sleep at 10, woke up at 7. I got 9 hours of sleep last night, so I feel very alert today. It's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> Normally, I'm pretty happy to get... I played like a 350. Fifty-five percent accuracy. I didn't think the game was that bad. That's crazy, yo. But uh, yeah, being a parent of two tiny children takes a toll on your sleep, and uh, it's it's a rare sight. It, it's a rare occurrence to get a full night's sleep. It's it's amazing though. Yeah, he should have he should have kept his pawns connected. It ended up costing him a bit. Um, I don't know. I, I I know this move was a bit premature, but I just wanted to create sort of pawn islands for him. His pawns were very disconnected here. And that's all I was really going after. The dreaded down button. Pushing C4. Pushing C4. Let me see if I understand C4. Oh, sure. Okay, well, let's see how this plays out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then castles. And then bishop D2. Okay. Um, I don't know. That's kind of how I saw that playing out. I was never really able to find, like, a... Good spot for, or a good time to play c4, did I? Maybe I did it, maybe I just don't remember. Okay, so what should have been the move here? c4 here, really. Okay, and then a5. And then the knight on b4 goes to d4. Okay. I, I was expecting him completely to just do one of these. And I thought he was trying to remove the defender off of uh, h3 with this knight here. Or excuse me, h2 with this knight. So that was the big idea there. And then bishop g4. Sure. Probably would have just been, went back to d1. Um, then what would he have done? Uh, takes on d4. Sure. So, has to go back to d2. Okay, protect. c3. Attack, take. Uh, castles. Then I would have pushed up. And then bishop f5. Okay. And e4. Okay. Well, didn't quite play out that way. But interesting to see the line. Nonetheless, I was wondering if uh, trading knights off here was a valid idea. Looks like we're still at a pretty even position if we were to trade that knight off. Um, okay, and then f4. Very unnatural move for me, but what are you going to do? So queen on g6 next. Okay. And then queen on d4. Okay. And bishop on h3. Yeah, so see, I felt like he would have been able to take advantage of this pin on the pawn here. If I did anything else. Um, then rook f2, protect, castles. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like where we, how it ended up playing out. Yeah, this seemed like a big miss here. Um, because I got the queen onto a decent square since he had so much firepower going down these diagonals. I figured the queen on f3 was kind of valuable here to protect sort of these squares if he ended up launching attack. Big blunder here, huh? Yikes. What does the coach have to say? You allowed the opponent to win a queen by trapping a piece. Interesting. So what, how could he have punished this instead? So bishop on g4, attack the queen. 
Okay. And then queen f4. So we would have had to just do a trade. Okay. We have some bishop takes. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, so bishop g4 just would have been an insane move because all of these squares were defended. Wow. Yeah, bishop g4 would have been a very good move. Hmm. Yeah, that probably would have cost me the game if he found that. Queen h6, sure. So I figured he was just looking for a really simple mate here. And kind of had to play that in g3 instead. Mm, sure. I don't know why. I just like pushing the h pawn. I just like this uh, having the insurance on h2. But that's just me. Castling. Your central. Your central strikes. Your central strike gains space. English. I really like this pawn move. That one was very satisfying to find. And I don't know, personally, I like just throwing the rook on the same file as the queen. I know the engine may not think so, but... So yeah, th in this position, I was really going back and forth about what the ideal move here was. So what does the engine say? Pawn takes instead? Okay, so if pawn takes... What I was imagining was check, scoots over, and then bishop d7. I see. So even if he checked, it wouldn't have really mattered, huh? Because then we just scoot out, and now what? So queen has to go back to h2. Okay, and now... Now what? Couldn't I have threatened his queen with something? Like h1. Ah, uh, so then he had check. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. I see. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, really going back and forth between what his plan was here. I didn't want to lose the pawn. I don't like losing the b-pawn in this setup. So I just wanted to cause a threat. You missed an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. True. I mean, the pawn was free, but... Hmm. And then it opens up. Yeah, I was just expecting him to go h2 next. That's why I didn't want to take the pawn. Because I figured he would have just move this queen away. But even then, I mean, let's think about this. Oh yeah, his qu his queen kind of would have been trapped here at this point, wouldn't it? Queen h2, check. Yeah, so he basically has to run to h2 to save his queen or trade off on something like g3, right? And then just push show moves. Okay. I don't know. I know the engine says it's full of inaccuracies, but I like how it played out. But this was huge. This this is a huge blunder, huh? You permitted the opponent to force eventual checkmate. Really? No way. So he had mate in five here. No way. Crazy. Man, lots of blunders here. So offer the trade. Yeah, he could have... Yeah, I realize now why this is a mistake is because um, he had two attackers and I only had one defender here. So boom, boom, boom. Um, now I understand why that move was such a big mistake. I miscalculated the number of defenders and attackers on F4 there. Good to know. Spawn push was very satisfying. I love getting great moves from um, pawn pushes. I don't know why, but it's really satisfying. It's it seems like such a harmless piece, but if you can get it in a really good spot, it's really it's really uh, satisfying. Yeah, bishop f4 definitely not the move. Oh yeah, I was also considering 
knight c5. It looks like that's what the engine preferred. And then it kind of it does save a knight and pressures the queen. And then I suppose it does still win a rook no matter what, right? Because he couldn't defend this rook. I mean, I suppose he could have gone. Oh no! Even then, could have gone for it. So queen f five. Okay, and takes on a eight. Okay. Yeah, so I lose a bishop this way. And then c takes on d4. Okay, well, he has a lot of options for moves here. Queen takes on d4. Uh huh. The a rook on c1. Hmm. Yeah, he's got some. Uh, he has like a fork here in this position. Can he take d2? Right. Queen takes a4. Okay. h6. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Just curious. But taking the pawn was the idea. I guess my new brain just likes to go for the high value piece, even at the cost of a minor piece here. Taking. Man, so many inaccuracies. That's what I was expecting to happen. Now my A pawn, uh, B pawn's undefended. So E6. Why though? Seems like it gives up so much free stuff. I'm having a really hard time with the engine analysis on this game. It it seems like it wants you to give up so many free things. Um, I know I'm probably just not smart enough to comprehend it, but you miss an opportunity to win a bishop through a fork. A seven? Is that how? Oh, queen a seven. Interesting. Queen c6. I figured it would be so easy for him to just protect those, though. Let's win a pawn. Really? Bishop b7. Hmm. F3. C4. Okay. Got it. Probably would have went for the queen trade here at this point, if I'm being frank. And then something like, um, what does he want? C3. Okay. Very interesting. Well, fun game. This was a fun move, too. This pawn is the MVP of the game. <laughs> I'm just going to be totally on. <laughs> it let me discover that rook, and then it let me discover uh, this bishop as well. So this pawn was putting in quite a bit of work. Or no, not, well, discover the bishop and discover the queen and take out the pawn in front of the king. Very valuable. Very cool. Yeah, very fun game. Very fun game. It feels really fun to play chess when you're fully rested. It's like a whole different world. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching and uh, see you guys in the next game.